President Uhuru Kenyatta has directed the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, to move with speed and map out the pollution hotspots along the Athi River to ensure the water that feeds into the Thwake Dam is safe for human consumption. His orders coming hot on the heels of the findings of the Office of the Auditor General, Nancy Gavangu, that the water in the dam was unfit for human use. As Chimutai Goin reports, the President Kenyatta's Ukambani tour brought good tidings for the Ukambani people with a pledge to connect Kitui and Makweni counties through the construction of a connecting road. After his anticipated tour was postponed twice, Friday President Kenyatta kick-started his opening leg of the Ukambani tour, inspecting ongoing projects in Makweni and Machakos counties. <laughs> His first stop was the Thwake Dam, whose construction began in 2017. The dam, which sits on 9,000 acres of land, set to benefit over 1.3 million people. Once completed, the dam will reduce the residents' over reliance on rainwater, boost irrigation, and also aid the residents' access clean water. However, the Auditor General had spelled doom on the project. In the 2019-2020 audit report, she stated that its water was not fit for human consumption, let alone irrigation. And today, President Uru Kenyatta ordered NEMA to act on the concerns. Tutafanya lolote liweze kanavyo kuhakikisha ya kwamba hiyo pollution ambaye nafanyika upstream ambaye nalete majichafu kwa wanainchi upande huu downstream imekwisha na imefungwa kwa sababu ni haki ya kila mkenya kuweza kupata majisafi. The president also putting on notice individuals and companies guilty of polluting water bodies, saying his government will not relent in taking action on such offenders. Unasikia wengine wakinipiga ya kwamba sijui nilifanya nini, lakini jameni, kama muradi wa sewage na ardhi ilikuwa ya sewage, na tumesema irudi, ndiyo wanainti huku chini waweza kupata majisafi, tumekosea wapi wenzangu. His tour was laced with political undertones, the president making indirect jobs at the Hustler Nation. Kisikia Raila akiongea, unasikia nasema infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. Anaelewa ni nini natakikana. Ukisikia kalozo akisema ni hiu, anaelewa ni nini natakikana. Sio tu kuongea kwa sababu unataka kuchafua fikira za wavijana. Mwana inchi ataki kupewa, anataka hapatiwe uwezo. And with Odinga coming under sharp criticism for using the handshake to recoup benefits for his region, he appeared to shock many when he joined the president in Ukambani. Amid the visible tension between the Ukambani leaders, the region's kingpin wiper leader Kalonzo Musioka insinuated that all was well. Use that negative energy to develop unity of purpose. Watu wake wale wagine wako huku chini, walisema nipelepo disiplini ya wai kwa laba. Labda utamueleza, iyo siyo nzuri. Another big project, irrigation, clean water supply, power generation, that is going to revolutionize the lives of people down there. That is again another Part of that big dream, thinking dream, a big uh, to push Kenya into a middle income status by the year 2030. The president later visited the Konza Technopolis in Machakos County. With the Thwake Dam having been listed as one of President Uru Kenyatta's legacy projects and set to be completed just months to the expiry of his term, it still has to grapple with issues raised by environmental and health experts over the safety of the water that will be fed into the dam from the Athi River and the Thwake River. Chemutai Goin Citizen TV at the Thwake Dam, Makweni County.